Uh, hello everyone, it's Wale Ladiko here. I'm driving my EQC 400 and joined with me today is Daniel, my boy. This guy is a car lover. He plays some games where you use cars. So please tell me which one do you play that you you use cars? Sometimes you customize cars and tune cars. Which one is that? Uh, I do Car X Race Drifting and Forza Horizon 4. Right. So which one were you telling me the other time that you bought a very cheap old banger car and you made it fast? No, it was Forza Horizon 4. So how did they do that then? Uh, well, I got the um, I got this old R bath, and then and then with the R bath, um, then um, it's like a really small 2011 one. Yeah. And then um, in the, it's all like what you could change, like the engines, the exhaust, and what you want. So I put a twin turbo on it, and then <laughs> and then I oh, was good, and then um. I just put some big exhaust on it. I'm gonna put like bodywork on it. I put a wide body, a wide body the in the car, and uh, uh, spoilers. Yeah, and I put a spoiler, I put a spoiler on it, and a body kit, and big exhaust on it as well. So the idea fast. Yeah, and it was so fast that it um, did wheelies. It was going to do the, because it wasn't meant to be for in that sort of car like a V10 in the car in like a like like. Do you know like a Fiat 500? That's basically what it is. Like. Fiat, yeah. That very small yeah. car. Yeah. Well, turn in. Mm. Oh, that's good. So what do you intend? I'm sure very soon we're going to be planning to to have your first car when you are 17, right? I don't know. When you are 17 in the UK. So what kind of car are you thinking? Uh, um, probably... Well, my highest hope would probably be like a, a golf, golf car, maybe 2000, 2008 golf, because yeah. it won't be too expensive. Well, it will be, yeah, it won't be too expensive for a golf as your first car. It's so all golf, they are customised actually, the way the car looks, not the engine. Just like the neighbours. Yeah. <laughs> the neighbours car, the neighbours son has just passed his driving test how old is he 16 or 17 yes and they've got these uh is it golf they've bought for him is it yeah. golf and it's customized everything and it's looking good i saw it this morning it's looking good so that's that's good that's good now with regards to all the cars that we've owned that since you since you were born, which one was your favorite? Uh, possibly, well, in terms of in terms of um, comfort, it would be this car because it's really very comfortable. Okay. And uh, like in terms of looks and how it drives and like like what you experience, it probably be the. I forgot what it was, it was um, a Mercedes Benz or um, so the S -class. It was an S class one. Yeah, S class is a top, it's a top, top car. It's actually very comfortable as well, but it's lower down. Yeah. This one is a bit higher up. So it's better suspension, but it can be used. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so we've heard about two or three Audis. No, we have two A6, one. Well, one was involved in an accident when we were in Scotland. Then we got another one. It's another A6. Then we have the A8, the silver one. So, do you like the A8 one? Or are you too young to I remember? Like, yeah, I remember it. I remember it. Um, I, like the, I like the, 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 art, the artwork in the car, I like the wood finish. And yeah. But uh, I didn't really, I never really liked the, uh, I, I think that, I, I think I was too used to how this just, you know, hit the same like when you got a missile and it's just like different because like new like more more fresh or something. Yeah, yeah. I felt like that too actually. When I drive Audis it's like I'm working. When I drive a Mercedes Benz it's like I'm having fun. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I'm still going to work. <laughs> so so what do you think about all this E V thing? Now this is an electric yeah. car. 
but there's no noise. Yeah. So, that's an issue for you. Yeah, because I want to have a loud car. I want it to, I want it to have a wine. I want it to wine. <laughs> what was that car, that internal combustion engine car that we saw in Scotland? Oh, it's, uh, I think it was like a 2016 Mustang, but it was customised. Well, well uh, so did you say you've seen that in the drag race with the is yeah. it is it Matt Watson the guy who does the car wow? No, not really, no, I, I can't remember what what's it with. But it was just this drag race and it was like fully customized at thousand two hundred as well. So did they did they beat a fast supercar yeah, or something? Yeah, beat a stock a stock um, McLaren. <laughs> So interesting, interesting. Um, so hopefully, you know, we're going to enjoy our EQC for the time being. But the thing I'm looking at the EQS is looking really good for the next car. What do you think? Uh, yeah, yeah, the EQS are the uh, the G wagon. I like I tell you, well, let's wait for the G wagon. Yeah, <laughs> that's going to be something. Driving a G wagon electric. <laughs> <laughs> you can get away with, you know, you can drive what you love to drive without polluting the environment. Yeah, but looks a bit too posh. <laughs> yeah, you know, probably get it second hand. You know, you don't want to spend so much money. So after maybe one or two or three Excellent. years, that the depreci depreciation has gone down. Yeah. You just get it, get it. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure sharing with you. Thank you, Daniel, for uh, for featuring on our show today. If you've liked, if you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe and like it. Until next, until next, next episode, keep smiling, keep driving. All the very best. Bye-bye.